So it is actually exactly similar to square and square root. And if you understand the exponents and power chapter, you will understand this topic. So I'll quickly introduce cubes. Do you know what is cube, by the way? Sure, cube is like when it's to the power of like the like geometry cube or like in this chapter. Actually, both are related. But right now, you tell me about uh, arithmetic cube. So arithmetic cube is when you take something to the power of three. Very good. Perfect. So let me just take one example. Uh, okay. Vibhu is also going to join in some time. So let's see. It's okay. So let's take one example. Five to the power of three. Sana, do you know what does it mean? Yeah, 5 being multiplied by itself 3 times. Very good. That's it. That's the basic introduction of cube. So 5 into 5, 25. 25 into 5 is 125. So that's the basic answer. Okay. So that is something what is called cubing. This is cubing. Now the reverse. This is cubing. If I go reverse, it's called cube root. What do I mean by that? Just like square root, the symbol is for square root. Remember? If I say cube root, there will be three over here. This symbol is known as cube root. Okay. But the question arises why we are doing this thing. Suppose a question is 125. I want to know which number was there of which we did cube and we found 125. Is it making sense? So actually that is the procedure which we will follow to find 5. For example, let me just give you 8,000. I want to know which number was cubed to get 8,000. Is it making sense? Yes. That, that is the objective of learning cube root. Now, extending this information, we will do, okay, in another one or two minutes, we will uh, learn about it how to go about it, okay? Now, Vibhu, have you joined? Yeah. So, uh, Vibhu, we are doing a simple introduction to cube and cube root since this chapter is coming in your exam uh, because it is very easy and related to square and square root. So I thought this chapter can be done by yourself. I'm just introducing. Is it fine? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. And uh, since you are traveling right now, you can take screenshots and uh, I'll tell you when to take, okay? So that you don't have to take again and again. Okay, sir. Yeah. So for now, uh, I was just sharing. This symbol is for square root. We know this thing. Now this thing is known as cube root. Do you know if I write 4 over here, it can also be solved. What is this called? Anyone? Hello. Yeah. What is this called? Sorry, I don't. Is that Hello? a quad root? Yeah. Vibhu, are you speaking? Hmm? Yeah. I'm able to hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, sir, your voice is cracking a lot. Yeah, so maybe some network issue at your end. Yes, sir, it's on my it's on my end. So yeah. So Sana, do you know what is this called? No. So we don't have any special name, we just say say fourth root. Yeah. 
then what we will call this thing fifth root fifth root is it making sense yes these so white... there's no more yeah there's no like special names for the rest of them no so they might have special name but we don't need to because it can go to 100th root also no is it making sense yes now we will try to understand how to not just understand cube root let's understand fourth root also fifth root also 100th root also anything you will be able to understand that thing okay now if you remember how we used to do root 25 can you tell me aaron root 25 or uh, 25 uh, so first you take the uh, so by long division method not by long division method time factor oh, okay so 25 so uh, first you can take a uh, 5 then 5 Uh, then five and then then one, so it becomes five square. So five into five, basically. Now you take five square. I'm teaching you a little bit higher method, so always remember this thing: square is always power one by two. Cube root will be power. One by three. Fourth root will be anyone. One by four. One by. Sir, but if you like invert the numbers, or if you like uh, reciprocal the number, then you can make it four, like just to the power of four. But no, uh, that will be minus one by four. Aaron, you are getting confused. Yeah. So this way. I can write five to the power of two to the power of one by two, isn't it? So this way, two into one by two, you get five. Is it making sense? That's how we used to do. Remember? Shri, so could you explain the like minus two part again? Like uh, I know that it's from laws of exponents, but I didn't understand. Minus two. Where is minus two? The five to the power of minus two, and then bracket, and then to the so power. This is not minus two. Sorry, this is not minus two. Oh, okay. This is five. No, so I understand. This is five. This is five to the power of two, and. Yes, I read that wrong. Okay, now it is fine. Yeah. Yes. So let's say now I have to do root cube root of one twenty five. Again, I will do prime factorization. Then I will get cube root of five power three. And as we know, cube root can be written as one upon three power. Is it making sense? Yes, sir. So, what if uh, I guess your question? If the question is, let's say twenty-four cube root, what will happen to this? Let's try to jump into this twenty-four. Twelve, six, three, one. Now, what is happening? Two to the power of three is there, but three to the power one is there, isn't it? Yes, no. So, so do you multiply by three to make it like? I'm not asking you to make it a cube root. I'm just asking you to solve it. So there is. If you remember one law, if we have multiplication in the root, I can just make them separate multiplication. Similarly, division. 
Remember this thing? Yes, sir. So what I can do, cube root of two cube, multiply cube root of three. This can be solved, isn't it? Yes, so that can become two to the power of one. But this cannot be solved, isn't it? Power is one. Yeah. So it will remain same. This is the answer. Sana, is it making sense? Yeah. What can be, this is a very high level. Don't worry about these questions, but unless and until you un understand high level, you won't be able to appreciate a question which is of your level. Right now, the question was easy. Everything was solvable. The real problem comes when it is not solvable, like 24, isn't it? In this, there are two parts. One is two, one is three. So two part is solvable. So I solve that three part is not solvable. I keep that as it is. Is this thing fine? Yeah. So I'm going back and uh, one by one, Vibhu, Vibhu, can you hear me? You can take screenshot and then we can do some of the questions. So in this particular question, Question was 3375 cube root. Again, method is very simple. Find the, do the prime factorization. Since we have two numbers, make, make them separate. 3, 3 getting cancelled. So you get 5 from here and 3 from here. Okay. So answer is 15. And at the end, you can write therefore. For a final conclusion, cube root of 3375 equals to 15. Is this thing clear? Yes, Anna? Any yeah. doubt? Any particular doubt? Now, uh, second type of question come. Uh, where we need to find something like what should be multiplied to get a perfect square, a perfect cube, or what should be divided. Remember these kind of question we did in square and square root also? Yes, sir. So let me just focus on that. So suppose question is 24 only. Remember we did just now cube root, not square root, cube root. I'll do the prime factorization. 2, 12, 6, 3. So these three are in three pair. Yes or no? Can I see that? Yes, no? Yes. Sir. So they call them, so they call them triplets, right? Yeah, triplets. So not three, three, two and three. If the question is what number should be divided? When we say divided, that means elimination. What number should be eliminated? Tell me which number should I eliminate? I should eliminate three, no? Three. So the answer should be we should divide three from, uh, we should divide three, not from, we should divide three uh, to get perfect square, perfect cube. Is it fine? And I divide it by three. So we got eight, right? Yeah. So therefore. So 31, 31. 
अब नाउ अनदर क्वेश्चन कैन कम फाइंड द क्यूब रूट ऑफ दैट नंबर वी नो दैट इट इज टू आंसर वुड बी टू इज इट मेकिंग सेंस डू यू अंडरस्टैंड वाई आई एम नॉट डूइंग दैट स्टेप नाउ now i every time know that if some number is there whose power is matching so answer would be x yes or no or should i show that step no sir i understood you have to open the bracket and then multiply by depending on like what the root is so this question is what should be divided what if this question is what should be multiplied in that case this 3 is individual tell me what should i multiply there what should i multiply so you have to multiply uh 3 with 20 for this question yeah this particular question For this particular question, I think you have to multiply a uh, three. Still, I guess I should multiply nine. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is okay. it making sense, Sana? Yeah. Isn't it to make a a pair of three, not pair triplet, basically? Like if I need if I need three. Group basically, so I need to multiply two times, na three. So what should I write? We should multiply by nine. So what will happen? Two into two into two was already there. Three was already there. And then I will multiply it by three. Multiply it by three. Then I know two power three, three power three. Two power three is what? Two three power three is three. Answer will be six. Is it making sense? Yes. No. Yes. I did both the questions. Yes. what should be divided what should be multiplied so this is just an introduction to the question concept what you can do is you can practice from the book and ask doubts in the next class